Okay, so it's now gotten to the point where here Snake Sneeko Snake Snakes Nick Fuentes oh, really? oh. Ref refuses to join the clout chasing stream with Cheezer and Fuentes. Really? Fuentes was begging on his knees for Sneeko to join, and so was Cheezer. But Snakeo snaked them both. So on the last, it wasn't Af Pack. It was like that thing he did at the hotel to make up for not having Af Pack, right? Let's Do show Beardson in the can. Wait, Let's what show point? him. Look at wait, him. Wait. What is this? Wow. So he's taking a selfie of himself in the bathroom, in a public bathroom. The urinal behind him. Can you imagine you walk into the bathroom and you see this little hobbit? Taking a selfie in front Wait. of the f***ing yard. Ash. Like, Ash. Look, at on. look at it. Look how tall he is compared to the urinal. Buddy, he's like almost as short as the urinal. He's barely taller than the piss hole, dude. Like the stall towers over him. I remember. It's like <laughs> ultimate manlet mode. This is. There's a streamer here, I guess, on Kick called Cheezer. He's this massive streamer, apparently. And Nick Fuentes was promising that once he did this crossover stream with Cheezer, the white race would be saved, that this guy was a king, he was a champion for the white race, his influence would totally move the needle and ascend Nick Fuentes into a category where he's a household name oh. with Zoomers and everybody respects him. Right. So this is this is uh, who Cheezer is, folks. Let's introduce you to this streamer who, if Nick Fuentes gets to stream with him, the white race will definitely be saved by the Mexican child this time, guys. R real fast, speaking of kick streamers, did you, okay, we have this whole, like, uh, Jack Doherty thing we're working on right now, yeah. where he's, like, now, apparently everyone in that house rips. So they're battling oh. on who more women. It's crazy. So we're working on that, but it's a big story. We have to cover We need some time to go over it. But also, Neon, there was a 14-year-old kid who fucking, like, felted him. Do we have that? Uh, we don't have that. You know he was unbanned we'll for that within two days? Based. Course. Based just, kick. Based kick. Fuck. Well, we'll show that tomorrow. All right. Argue to say in freestyle rest of it. Okay. What that the fuck was this? This guy who Nick Fuentes wants to stream with is put on the dress and is dancing like a pretty pretty girl. Look at this. Look at that. Okay. So, so... this is gonna move the needle, boys. Like. How many degenerate, like, weird homosexual twinks does Nick Fuentes have to stream with before the white race is saved? 24. Folks? It's 24. He's on, like, a few eight, more. 18 it's like or something. Every time people are saying they notice a pattern. And we're going to go over the pattern after we uh, have a look at these uh, teaser moments. Can we stop with the fucking arcade machines in the back? I know. They're fucking cringe, bro. Oh, this, is like the this is the desperation of Nick Fuentes because he honestly has lost it. He has no clout. He has no relevance. It's he's not on any mainstream platforms. He's completely discredited. He's known as being a pedophile defender. He's known uh, basically for every bad thing under the sun Who? is what he's known for. Like no, Nick Fuentes, oh, okay, nobody oh, yeah. supports I was him. Like, wait, so it's yeah. gotten to the point where he's so desperate and he has so little credibility. And it's to the point where, as we're going to find out, even Sneeko doesn't want to try and fucking be associated with Fuentes <laughs> anymore because it's toxic bullshit that limited his, car his career. Career. Here oh, we have okay. him with Aiden Ross here on kick.com. Pulling out a very no. realistic dildo, which he's now going to suck. <laughs> he is going to put this phallus into his blowhole. Do it. Okay. Why do they all Chat. have dildos? Why do they all suck upon them? All right. Everyone, do we have to? Okay, everyone, look away. Look away if you don't want to see your this. your eyes. All right. This is on, okay, here Wait, it is. Like what? All right, fine. Oh, look at this. Okay, we're not rewinding that. That's that is who Nick Fuentes is begging to clout chase, who Nick Fuentes wants to bring on to his show. And it's a pattern that 
is notable with Fuentes. It seems like everybody that gets brought into his glow operation has either put a dildo in their mouth or put one up their bum. So let's take a walk through the path of history on Nick Fuentes' associates. This is this is bad, man. Yeah, I haven't this seen is... this one. <gasps> oh my! What? So when you have to ask, I know that ain't. How old when you have what? to ask, it's time to hit skip on Omega. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! 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 He's got the fucking fake dick on his. Dick. Oh my god! Oh my. Yeah, he's showing the fifteen-year-old his. Dick, though, okay. As though it's his. Penis. I've actually, my screen's blocking it. Do I move okay. my screen? No, you know what? It's fine. It actually is. It's fine. Oh, I mean, my oh, my oh, my God. God. oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, She's obviously grown. <sighs> how old are you? How old are y'all? 15. In. 15 years old. Wait, but what about the child? So yeah. this is the person that Nick Fuentes is associating with. Clout is submitting himself to and degrading his followers and his movement for. All right, let's go to uh, other followers or associates of Nick Fuentes. Oh, here's Gavin McInnes putting a dildo up his. It looks like he's in pain. The dildo is black, and he said that he did this to own the libs. Now, how this own the libs, I really don't know. But isn't it interesting that it's all these like. Catholic, supposedly Catholic, groiper adjacent figures that always put this shit up their bum as like a humiliation ritual. Like, I'm not sure if it's like necessary to join the club, like the glowy gang to do this, but like never forget, like whenever Gavin McInnes tries to give you his lecture about Catholic morality or his lecture about this or about that, I mean, he put this up as... Oh, there's Baked Alaska with a dildo in his mouth. Hmm. This was around the time, by the way, he was Milo Yiannopoulos' personal assistant. I wonder what or sort of other sussy shit Baked Alaska got up to while being with Milo. Oh, and then, of course, there's Catboy Cammy with a big black dildo in his mouth. But don't worry, bros. Nick told us it's okay because it was a water bottle. Nick Fuentes, by the way, went on a nine-hour date with that man. Okay, so it's now gotten to the point where here's Snake, Sneeko, Snake, Sneeko, <laughs> Snake's Nick Fuentes oh, really? oh. Refi refuses to join the clout chasing stream with Cheezer and Fuentes. Really? Fuentes was begging on his knees for Sneeko to join, and so was Cheezer, but Wait. Snakeo snaked them both. So on the last, it wasn't Af Pack. It was like that thing he did at the hotel to make up for not having Af Pack, right? Yeah, was, he showed up to that. Was but that so, was the last time he showed up? Did he speak at that? No. Oh yeah. Neither did Zerka. Zerka didn't even go. Yeah, Zerka was Never. like fucking some broad. At By a the way, alley. Gunther Terminator gifted a sub. Wow. Big support there Thank from you. the Gunther Terminator. Big support. I got like eight more minutes. Did he speak? Oh yes, he did. He did speak. He yeah, spoke he did. for like two I minutes. He, he had like the white yes, button right. up. Yeah, that's you're why right. I, I forgot. I'm that like, did he? It was so short. No, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Holy break into fuck. the mainstream. I've been banned for a year and a half. I have access to some pro to some social media platforms, okay? 12.34 a.m. No, Dad Pap. It's not till 12.34 a.m., you liar. Like, I'm now be able to, to get collabs with real people. I'm starting to make big steps. I could get onto the Joe Rogan Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So is he saying, he's like, look, when I hung out with Nick, it ruined my life. I'm finally, exactly. like, washing clean... You know, of, mm -hmm. of, of, you know, interacting with him. And uh, people are starting to notice, right? Yeah. He jumps back on with Nick Fuentes. It's over. And by the way, we fucking warned all these people. We said the moment, if you have Nick on to clown him, that's different. Okay? Yes. But to like, I advocate for their movement and this and that.
Well, it's beyond even that he's a Nazi, right? I mean, he's advocating for the age of consent to be abolished. He's defending pedophiles. I mean, it's just beyond even that he's like Nazi man. Yeah. His brand is beyond toxic. It destroys every single person who brings him on in any way that's not completely oppositional to everything that he says. And he'll always be known, not just as Nazi man, Holocaust man. I mean, there are people who make like, you know, Richard Spencer, Jared Taylor. There are people like that who, you know, they still make a living doing that. And that's their grift. And that's what they sure. believe. But Nick Fuentes took it one step further. Well, it's not edgy enough to be a Nazi. He's going to be a pedophile as well. <laughs> and, you know, you like, you just can't do that. No, bro. no. You can't bring that additional shit onto yourself. And so now he's he might miss out even on being like a boogeyman that hosts spring on. Can you believe what this racist is saying? He's not even going to get to be that. Well, well, the and, last and time. Remember Fresh and Fit? The last time Fresh and Fit had them on, they were bad. They were demonetized. Yeah. If them. Exactly. And then you fraud f want me to so and sit and cry and moan. Wait, wait. Yeah. Does he have like a bad lisp? Like what happened? It, listen to how clearly he he's snaking them though. He he's calling lisp? them frog f He's yeah, he's well, he's lisping because he's all f up to the his speech. Oh, pattern? the brain damage. You're right. Sean Strickland brain damage. But, but this, this Like I'm now I'm able to, to get collabs with real people. I'm starting to make big. I'm starting to make some big changes. Steps I could get onto the Joe Rogan podcast. And then you frog. No, you won't. Frog well, want me to so and sit and cry and moan and babysit autistic f all day long. Ooh. He's calling Nick. Ring Quint it up. As an autistic F slur. Ring, Ring it, it up. up. Nick L. Nick L. Oh, I'll say fucking Sneeko W, but it's tough, eh? Oh, no, we never give Sneeko W. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Saying the same shit that we already know. I'm not disassociating with anybody. Saying the same shit we already know. It's so true. He, he's I'm then not claiming he's not disassociating, but he is because you're not associating you're with them on live fans? stream. Like, come on. Yeah. Come Ignoring on. anybody. I'm still friends with these people, and I would say that. I don't stand right. on that. I'm not afraid to. Okay, Sneeko, you're a what? Oh, okay, big what ring it up, Sneeko L. Ring it up for ring real. Ring it up. Say anybody's That's name. That's why we couldn't what I give am. him that dub. What? Why? Why? Yeah, I, I didn't hear this. Why the f would you do the half measure on this? Seriously, go. You know what? I was stupid. I thought that Nick actually did care about Christianity or whatever the fuck. I thought that this was real. I actually have, and Nick is a. Scumbag, you know, go full yeah. measure, you know, because yes. you're still you can't half step on this man. You yeah. have to pick a lane and make a decision, but he's just half stepping it. Yeah, it's sad, pathetic. Dodging is the media matters hit pieces. The people that got me banned on YouTube, oh, man. And hundreds his of lisp is bad. I, I can't not I can't not hear it. It's like almost I didn't like my until you said, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. By Poor the way, guy. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. I'm excited. I can't wait. I love I love these freak show fights. We're like the night I don't off. care what we're anybody says. We're taking the night off. Oh, well, we'll be taking the night off and we're gonna party. We're well, you're not no. gonna get drunk, but I'm, I'm gonna get drunk. One hundred and twenty one days completely sober, not a sip of alcohol, not a puff of weed, no drugs, and no energy drinks for about ninety days. T-Bump says you're a couple of marks. I am a proud mark. I oh, love this I shit. Can't wait. I know it's stupid. I know it's probably going to be disappointing. But, you know, Mike Tyson looks like he's in good shape. You know, I mean, he is 58 years old, but he's still Mike Tyson. He's a huge name. He's a huge star. Jake Paul, I love watching the Jake Paul fights. I watch them every time they happen, even when he's fighting taxi cab drivers. It's going to be on the grandest stage of Netflix. Like, it's going to be included in your Netflix no, subscription. No, apparently. Richie Rich, I'm 121 days. 121. So I'm excited for that. I think it's going to be cool. Thousands of dollars away from me. Oh, no, no nicotine, TJ Blackmore. And I've been working out every single day. So let's go. You fucking idiots. If are you, you are retarded? already... No, if, genuinely, if look... genuinely, genuinely. Do I need to explain this to you? Have I not been saying this over and over again every single stream? That we're breaking into the mainstream, that we need to be uh, strategical about it, and then you f 
cry because I, I think that it's not a smart idea to risk all of that for a Discord call with Cheezer, you stupid f Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen. So I is love he how missing Sneeko his is, Sneeko's big dogging these guys through his lisp. It's so funny, man. It sounds like like why would I risk any of this? So it makes Nick look stupid that he's like yeah. going through and doing this, and it makes Cheezer look stupid because Sneeko is apparently too big of a deal to stoop down for this garbage. Sneeko the smart. No, I I. It sounds like he's about to spar and has his mouthpiece in. Has the mouth guard on, you know, like. Yeah, risk everything you've been doing for months on end to go on Discord with Cheezer. Are you people f***ing stupid? So bring in the frog one. Cigar, shut up. Okay, bring in the frog so guy. So you basically. Bring in the frog guy. I love, by the way, bring how he doesn't even call them guy. groipers. You f***ing no. frog. It's so funny. It's really funny. You're saying it's good. that you don't follow free speech? I follow free speech completely. I follow strategy too, idiot. Let's exactly. It's like I mean, Dito right. saying he never... free speech. Let's defend pedophiles all day. It's like, well, no. Yeah. Listen, the free but... speech has to have like a line when you're defending pedophiles. When you're saying, "I will rip, I will kill and die for Nick Fuentes." Like free speech is free speech, but saying you'll kill and die for some child, a, a Mexican child, you have to exercise your speech properly. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. It's just a bad idea to associate with Nick Fuentes. You could take ideas from him that you agree with and push those to your mainstream audience, but to actually like watch the fucking idiot, that's a whole, and, and, and associate with him, bring him onto your show and let everybody tar and feather you with that association is beyond fucking stupid. It's what Nick used to preach about optics. Well, Nick is the least optical person in the world. There's no mass movement that will ever be centered around him because he's a pedophile defender. He's an age of consent Look, abolisher. And he's also like, he's embraced stuff like Holocaust and all stuff that's just not going to become mainstream. That's just a chain around your neck, a millstone around your neck that's going to cause your movement to fail and never catch on. And so Sneeko's just had enough. He's snaking Nick. He's not going to associate with him. The moment he eliminated these guys and became like the only game in town or whatever, at least he felt that way, he then immediately embraced everything about them that he claimed was unoptical. He brought in the rallies, January 6th, the Fuentes rally in New York where everybody got captured, was like in a pit Have getting a lot photographed by journalists and getting doxxed. He embraced Holocaust denial. He started Sig Heiling. He Sig Heils like every few shows now. And I remember that that was like the anathema. Like, oh my God, you can't do that. You can't Sig Heil. But he does that on every one of his, almost every one of his shows now. He's like, hail Trump and all this fucking shit. He went after Spencer so hard for saying the exact same thing. But now that he feels secure enough in his position, and I don't even know if it's that. Like, I wonder at this point, and I've speculated about it a lot on the show, if he is controlled opposition, if he's getting fed these lines by his handlers. Because let's face it, with what he said at January 6th, break down the barriers and disregard the police, go in, the fact that he wasn't charged, when people who weren't even there on the steps like Owen Schwartz was charged, like, come easy. on. It's easy to it's see. It's bullshit. It has to be. That's what I think. It's the only thing that really makes sense at this point. Like you could like like I'm sure he's been reported a billion times, right? It's yeah. People who were reported or not even reported were arrested. The video has made circulation a billion times. The people who need to know who was involved would have seen it. It's over. Yeah. So it's clear as day, clear as fucking day. Anyway, here right, we let's go. Finish this up. Uh, yeah. Because free speech is about getting to what really matters. And if you constantly scream and say, Jews, 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 Jews. <laughs> I like how <laughs> like the clip ended. <laughs> Jews, 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 Jews. That's quite the way to end the clip. At so now we point, have Nick Fuente. Yeah. And it, well, I was saying, at a certain point, we, we said this before about certain people, where it's a Jews behind every blade of grass and this and that. And it's just. Jew, Jew, Jew. Look, if you have a problem with your Jews, fine. And you want to speak about it, whatever. Do you do whatever. But when your entire life is you went, oh, so the Jews. It's like, 
Some people don't well, want to be involved the, with that. So the problem is, like any normal person starts to think that you're completely fucking unhinged, and you know, not every failing of your life is the fault of the Jews. Like I don't know, it just starts to come across as like complete. It's, it's the Jews. It's the Jews. It's yeah. the Jews. I don't know. There, there's a reason it's not been. I don't know. There's a reason that it's not been getting too much traction. But uh, but the Jews. All right. All right. You ready for this? Uh, let's go. This is Nick Fuentes bending the knee to Sneeko. No it's way. Sad. Shit, even Sneeko bailed on me, Nick. What's your thoughts on that one, on well, Sneeko? Well, I'll say about Sneeko, I think he's a patriot, you know, because he stood up when it counted. He was right there with me during Yay 24. He went to my rally last year. And I think he's a truth teller. He's been very outspoken about oh, there we go. the genocide in Gaza lately. I mean, he lately, told the truth is... that he was a cock. But here is Nick. He has no choice. He's on this show chasing clout, crumbs of clout, from a guy who wears women's clothes, sucks and presents to 15-year-old girls while he tries to also chase crumbs of clout from a cuckold bum. Who just shit on him. big dogged him, shit on him and his followers. Yeah. But he's so desperate, he has no choice. This is the state of the movement at this point. This is the state of the Groypers. You know Their what? Their site, Cozy TV, it failed. It has no traction. It ha exactly. About to open that up. Yeah, Buddy, let's shut see it where they're at shut today. It down. I mean, they've got everybody going here since 400. Britney's got 100, but like us alone have triple, more than triple, the entire site. Like, let's see, this is the weekly yeah. sweat. The this is Beardson and Wurzel. Wurzel can't uh, even, look, Beardson's playing oh, the guitar? No, that's, that's fine. Yeah, see? yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, all right, we're just going to come up with something. Their the chat's right not even this moving. Uh, because I'm How a can genius. You prove that, that Look how slow it's moving oh at. My God. Is that 400 people? Let's see. Look it's at their smart, chat, man. And even if this donation is right, it's still only 200 bucks for a pizza, two of them, after four hours. Like, it's not earth shattering or changing. All right. Like, That's how you are you tell. seriously That's trying to tell me? That Beardson pathetically playing the guitar is going to change anything in this world. That this is going to somehow radicalize people to overthrow society. It's going to lead to a paradigm shift within the power structure or within the culture war. Like, give me a fucking break. Mm -mm, don't like that. All right. Look at Their this. Their chat is like fucking... There we go. It's a guy. Press one it's a guy if this is worthless guitar. garbage. Press one if this is worthless garbage. Press two if this is gonna save the white race, bros. Let's see. Oh wait, there's a real chat. That's all I know. Oh, hey guys, this is what a real chat looks like, by the way. <laughs> As opposed to their chat. Like, like. Stand up and be counted. Say hi, YouTube. So now, okay, degeneracy vodka shots on the uh, no, traditional Catholic tried, streaming platform. So much that they, She's uh, got the two Jews. on Odyssey. They let him in Jew the Jews! <laughs> Lemon drops are good. I think she's got that one on the intro playlist, the old one. Okay. What a busted well, bitch. That's the website. That's the website, folks. Wait, we weren't gonna go to Joe the Boomer. That's oh, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's let's see like, what he, Joe's got he's, to he's say. Got Eighteen viewers. Oh, he's playing Hell Divers too. I actually want to oh, play this, shot. to be honest. It kind of looks like. Um, I want to play this. Starship oh. Troopers. Yeah, it's like Destiny meets. Uh, and Metal go Gear 5 control, like, the, 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 the way they move and dive. I don't know. People keep These saying I, I should play this. Really Maybe we'll this stream it. This is probably it. the most watchable stream that they have. Yeah. Welcome to a cozy Saturday <laughs> evening stream with Joe the Boomer, folks. Love this song. This is high-level content, guys. Uh, I actually do want to play this game. So, some. Maybe on stream when we're finished the show one day, we'll do, uh, we'll do that. All right. Well, All right. Well, that's that the, was uh, the entire website. That's the state of cozy.